A Black Lives Matter co-founder is under fire for owning not just one, but four pricey properties. On Friday, the New York Post revealed Patrice Kahn Cullors, a self-proclaimed Marxist, owns at least four homes in mostly white neighborhoods, White Houses Matter, worth more than $3.5 million. She purchased the high-end houses located in, look at these places here, Englewood, California, very posh, South Los Angeles, Conyers, Georgia, and exclusive Topanga Canyon, California. That's between 2016 and just last month. That averages to be about one expensive home per year. Colors also eyed an exclusive property in the Bahamas, but it's not known yet if she actually was able to purchase it or how she paid for any of the others. David, I think we'd take a pretty good guess how she paid for the others. They raked in, BLM raked in some enormous tens of millions of dollars last year. Of course, they started raising a lot more, but last year, of course, with all the riots and everything. You know, you gotta ask yourself, uh, this looks like a whole lot of embezzlement. It looks like a whole lot of favoritism, and it certainly looks like a whole lot of hypocrisy. Marxists, Marxists don't own fabulous homes while all the other equal people are living in poverty. That's right. What happened to from each according to his ability to each according to his <laughs> need, which is kind of the Marxist mantra. I guess she needs four houses in luxury areas and we need to hold them accountable. You know, this is one of the Saul Alinsky uh, rules for radicals, throw their own rule book against them. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened here? Where did she digress from the rule book? And we have trickle down poverty in Marxism. Everyone becomes equally poor, except for these uh, oligarchs, their, their leaders, their, their ideologues. And that needs to be just harped on. We just need to slam that point. We should never get off that because this can decredit, I'm sorry, discredit yeah. their whole foul movement. Yeah, I mean, the whole idea of Marxism, you know, I, this is why it will never work, uh, is that you know some leaders agitate everybody, they get the overthrow of whatever the established order is, they reestablish everything, and then they just give away all of their power and they, and they just you know, revert to equally poor like everybody else. That it's the the founding principle of that is so stupid and so unrealistic. Do you really think all the BLM people she's going to give up those homes? It's like Trotsky and Lenin in the Soviet Union riding around on an armored tank with opulent luxury while everybody else is in bread lines. Well, they're still get, you know they're still getting everybody you know getting destroying the status quo. Sure. So they, you have to do that from a position of power. They, they call it the dictatorship of the proletariat, and it's one of those um, interim states on the way to full-on communism, which of course is the transformation of human nature, which to anyone who has any critical thinking abilities is an asinine thought because you can't transform human nature absent grace. Yeah, absolutely.